What's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cardi here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're doing things a little different. Um, today I'm actually inside of my streaming software just because I wanted to basically break down a bunch of things that is going on with 2K. You guys already know the light gold. We're going to be talking about the pie system versus the attribute system as well as talking about different builds and everything like that. But before we hop into this video, I want to apologize to all the small forwards out there. Um, I seen a lot of backlash when people were saying, man, we need custom pies, 2K tripping. Um, I, I want my player like this and I want my player like that. And you know, I was so much against it because I'm worried about all the people that will break the game. I'm worried about all the people that will use this custom pie system in order to make their player any way they want to make them. But when I actually did a stream on Facebook, I built some small forwards and I was trying to build LeBron. I was trying to build KD. I was trying to build Paul George. I was trying to build Kawhi. And for some reason, I couldn't really build their specific player sets as far as height goes, weight goes, wingspan, their attributes. Things were just off. So I want to apologize to all the small forwards out there because you guys are the ones who are suffering the most from this me i already know that i want to be a guard this year up until my first 99 but when i created my small forward last year i was one of those people that were kind of complaining like yo my player isn't playing the way he should be playing i see six four people dunking and posterizing people where my six seven player just isn't doing what he's supposed to do he's supposed to dunk it but he's going in for layups so when i see so many people complaining i'm like yo these these dudes just want to create demigods they just want to create stretches stuff like that when in all honesty i haven't seen any real power forward step forward and say we want to cheese the game everybody that's been complaining has been talking about small forward bills so i just want to go ahead and get that out the way but with that being said it's time to hop into our video um what we're going to be doing we're going to be comparing 2k's new pie system to their old player build attribute system archetype so um what i did was i went to nba2klab.com and i got all the information for one set screenshot for different builds and um steady builds so what we have here on screen the reason why i'm looking this way is because this is where my computer monitor is basically the build that you see on the NBA 2K20 demo is a 6'5 pure playmaker with regular weight, regular wingspan, nothing minimized, nothing like that. And of course, what you guys see inside the middle, which is a breakdown of all the attributes that, they, that 2K now have. I took out all the attributes that they previously had in their game and just went with the standards that 2K provided us. 2K Lab provided this uh entire breakdown their whole system they even got a new pie system for 2k20 so i'll be checking that out as well but basically you guys see we have block ball control defensive rebound driving dunk driving layup offensive rebound open mid open three of course they took out contested and moving um they have the post control which i believe is now maybe post moves i'm not sure but they have post fade post hook in the game so i'm guessing post moves is post control they have shot close speed speed with ball you know what I'm saying? They have standing dunk, steel, strength, and vertical. They don't have acceleration, but I'm guessing that speed with ball maybe replace acceleration or speed. Not totally sure, but what I tried to do, guys, is I tried to recreate the 6'5 pure playmaker point guard position on NBA 2K20 demo. And this is what I came up with. So the first thing that you guys see they gave a close shot of 84 to the NBA 2K20 demo. And in NBA 2K19, their shot close was at 84. So I was like, okay, maybe things are, you know, cool. Maybe things are evening out. But what I ended up noticing is, let me see. Uh, driving layup is 82, which is correct. Offensive rebound was 66 in 2K19, but in 2K20, it's at a 62. Their defensive rebound was a 66 in 2K19, but it's a 65 now in 2K20. 
their block is a 55 inside of 2k20 but on 2k19 their block was a 62 so i think that what's happening is they're not making them more defense heavy and the funny thing is i ran into a bunch of problems because interior defense perimeter defense and lateral quickness was not set on the 2k labs website so i had to kind of gauge where i wanted to put those points but what you guys will notice is a big thing especially with being a pure playmaker is that ball handle is now maxed out at 95 in nba 2k20 whereas though ball control is maxed at a 98 in nba 2k19 another thing pass accuracy wasn't listed on nba 2k19 so i kind of had to gauge where pass accuracy should be so i put it up to a 91 and me putting that up to a 91 it hurt all the other attributes because i'm like yo this is a pure playmaker i wanted to max it out but i couldn't max out pass accuracy because it felt like if i max that out i would be missing so many other things now check this out in nba 2k19 the open midi was at 80 a right standard now this player is 6'5 on both screenshots it's 6'5 on 2k19's nba 2k lab builder and he's 6'5 on the game now of course i didn't lower his wingspan now i'm not sure if 2k labs builds said well this is with minimum weight and minimum wing max weight or max minimum i mean max wingspan i believe that their build was straight from regular weight and regular wingspan so um also the three point shot is a 75 on 2k20 the open three for a pure playmaker in 2k19 was a 79 now i know you guys are probably like four points really isn't a lot but it truly is four points can really you know what i'm saying make or miss you know what i mean like four points is really huge free throw was another one last year's game we had free throw ace we don't have free throw ace this year, so we kind of have to put up our own free throw, which will give us shooting badges. And free throw ace is no longer a badge in the game, so I kind of had to gauge if a player can actually hit their shots. No, I'm not sure what pure playmakers got as far as badges. I didn't go that far into it. I wanted to focus on attributes this time around, but I would guess that they would have it on maybe silver or gold, right? Free throw ace, correct? So I'm guessing they can hit their free throws, and I believe 70 just isn't enough. If, if you know what I mean. Now, checking out Drive and Dunk. Drive and Dunk, I left it at 68 on what 2K19 had, but I believe that you could have uh, put it up a little bit more. But when I, when I think about things like this, it's like, okay, you have a pure playmaker and every other category should be even, right? So I'm like, well, why does it seem like this player, pure playmaker, is more of a slasher than a shooter now i know you're supposed to like round them off and stuff like that but as far as having an 84 close shot and then you drop all the way down to 68 on the driving dunk just really doesn't make sense it didn't make sense last year but it really don't make sense this year seeing as though the person could barely hit a midi at 79 i mean he can hit midis but honestly after you break down your defender as a pure playmaker at the park you want to, of course, have those badges to help you with your shooting boost, but I mean, I'm just not feeling it. And then think about it like this, right? When I told you guys that defense took a real big hit, I put the steal up to 74, right? The block um, went to a 62 last year, but it only goes up to a 55 max this year in 2K20. So when I had to gauge the interior defense, the perimeter defense, and the lateral quickness, this pure playmaking point guard has 95 speed and 95 acceleration there's no way his lateral quickness should be in the 50s and, and the funny thing is if i even max out the lateral quickness it would be nowhere near the amount of speed that this player has which makes no sense to me now with that being said i know people are like yo point guards kind of like op this year in 2k20 but i want to show you guys something that kind of like disgusted me a little bit and it's the small forwards now of course in the beginning of this video i talked about how i was apologizing to all the small forwards out there because you guys are taking a hit the most so let's go ahead and check this out real quick all right this right here is a breakdown 
of a pure point forward at six foot nine for both NBA 2K19 and NBA 2K20 demo. Like I said in the first uh, screenshot, the NBA 2K Lab is from 2K19. The breakdown, of course, is the 2K20 demo. You guys can see it. We're comparing the archetype system to the Pi system. And you guys see here, man, check it out. As far as speed goes, and because I didn't really talk about it because I didn't need to with the point guard, but bro, for NBA 2K19, the player speed was a 78 and a 78 speed with ball, right? But here, their speed is an 81 and their acceleration is a 75, but their ball handle was at a 72. And on 2K19, their ball control was at an 89. So you guys can already tell that these players are taking a huge dip. Like look, for instance, vertical, didn't really make that too much of a difference they had a 64 vertical but on 2k20 they have a 59 vertical not bad but look at their strength their strength was based at 70 you know what i mean but on 2k20 their strength is a 58 that's huge because when they're driving to the layup being 69 they should have some type of you know strength to hold them over hitting bigger players and getting bumped and stuff like that getting their animations changed midair and stuff like that but here their strength is terrible also the drop off between speed and acceleration for 2k20 is a little crazy like you guys seen with i'm gonna pull it back up with the playmaker 6.5 you have 95 and 95 as a small forward you you go from 81 and drop all the way down to 75 at 69 and let's talk about a couple other things right so remember i told you guys i had to gauge what pass accuracy would be right now i believe that i kind of put their pass accuracy a little too high you want to know why because i just feel like their ball handling being a 72 their pass accuracy can't be nowhere near that right so i just gauged it saying man maybe i should max it out but let's go through the block right so the block, I kept that at 65, which was cool. The offensive and defensive rebounding, they both stayed at 67, which was cool. The driving layup went down two points from last year, from 78 to a 76 rating. Their open midi went from an 80 to a 77. That's crazy. Their open three went from a 79 to a 70 as a pure playmaker in 2k20 from 2k19 the post control i tried to keep that mainly the same is it was at 66 last year i put it at 67 this year their post fadeaway stayed the same their post hook went down one coming into 2k20 uh their shot close stayed the same their standing dunk went down tenfold this player is 6'9 in 2k20 and 2k19 yet it went down 10 points coming into 2k20 they're still they're still went down almost 10 points now of course 69 minimum wingspan cool mid regular wingspan cool but they're 69 so i feel like they should have a little bit better of a steal chance than a 63 minimum wingspan player um and like i told you guys their strength and their vertical both went down big time this year I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to keep saying again, I am sorry for everybody that is going through this. You know what I'm saying? For people that can't create point forwards, I understand your pain now. You know what I mean? Because, of course, I haven't created a point forward, I believe, ever. I haven't created a point forward ever. So, I don't know the pain of not being able to be that height and being able to speed boost, momentum, you know what I mean? Get past your defender, break people down. But at the same time, I, I, I know I'm going to be on this hill. I seen a couple like point forward lockdown glass cleaner like type of like teams inside stage at the park and stuff like that. Y'all know y'all was cheesing. Just, just putting that out there. But listen, last but not least, this is going to be the last bit I'm going to talk about. And that's and the reason why I'm going to talk about this is because this is really why the pie system has to be changed. And I will go into why that needs to be changed. But let's check it out, man. Let's talk about the playmaking and sharpshooting or shooting pie for a moment right so um i've been tweeting out a lot of stuff on twitter lately 
um even when i streamed on facebook the other day i had put up a couple screenshots telling people about the presets that i made like i chose a lebron preset i chose the kd preset and their presets were trash they were nowhere near in comparison to what those players can do of course those players are superstars the bills that it looked like i preset created were role players you know what i'm saying and trust me in 2k we don't want to create role players but the reason why i was talking about we don't need custom pies inside the game is because i believe custom pies are going to do one of two things either they're going to break the game or nothing will change and the reason why i say nothing will change is because currently 2k has your player cap at something that you can't supersede no matter how many more attribute points you have no matter what percentage of the pie they give you they have these players attributes capped they have your vertical capped your strength capped your speed capped your acceleration capped they have your wingspan capped they have your height capped so if you're coming into this thinking I created this player last year and this is what i'm about to create and he better play just like him and be just like him it's not gonna happen if 2k keeps these caps so let's go ahead and look at this for a moment right now this right here like i told you guys is a sharp shooting and playmaking pie right so of course it's the the orangish yellow and green on right now what i have here in the middle of the screen is a 2k lab screenshot of a sharp shooting first playmaking second and a playmaking first sharpshooting second now if you guys look at the way this build is made you guys already can tell what type of player this player is this player looks like a sharpshooting first playmaking second build 2k doesn't have the pie option to give us playmaking first sharpshooting second they don't even have it where maybe it's a little even they only give us the option to be more of a sharpshooter than a playmaker so this is the first mistake we run into and this is a 6-9 small forward build so of course we all know kd isn't isn't 6-9 but he's listed at 6-9 so i built this after kd and you guys can already tell this isn't kd looking at it we know his three point is better we know his ball handle is better we know his pass accuracy is better we know his driving dunk is better we know his driving layup is better we know his lateral quickness is better i've seen kd stop people you know what i mean it, it this just isn't the right pie this isn't the right breakdown of that pie so when we go in and we say 2k we want custom pies even if you get custom pies let's say for instance they give you let's say a 40 40 10 and 10 right if they give you 40 40 10 and 10 and they say okay well you have more attribute points to go to shooting and playmaking they're still gonna cap us you know what i mean so they're not gonna let you physically put more attribute points that you may have going towards the shooting and the playmaking actually go towards it they are still going to cap you especially being 6'9 they're still going to cap you're still going to get a crazy cut into what your player actually is and i know it sucks but for everybody that been attacking me on twitter and being in the comments calling me stupid and dumb and you know i'm saying what this old head know i know 2k I've been playing 2K for all these years. I got the knowledge and I'm telling you guys, asking for custom pies will do nothing. What we need to address is the attribute system. What we need to address is the actual, we know for a fact that the pie system is nothing but the archetype system redesigned. We know that, you know what I mean? Just because we'll be able to choose what we wanna max out on day one, like in past games it doesn't matter if 2k is still gonna cap us so what we all need to do is come together instead of arguing with each other on social media about caps and pie well no nobody is arguing with me about caps but about these pies keep people keep talking about pies go 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 to your local bakery get yourself a real pie have a slice sit down get on twitter and say yo i feel what ipod king carter is talking about we need to come together and say attributes 
caps should be better attribute cap should be more designed for the player themselves you guys see it here playmaking first sharpshooting second sharpshooting first playmaking second we had that one year ago this year we don't have that option we only can go with with what 2k gives us as far as cap we need to say no 2k this is what we need if i want to be more of a playmaker than a shooter that's what i want you know what I mean? If I want to be more of a shooter than a playmaker, that's what I want. But y'all capping is insane right now. Like, let's just look at it for a moment, right? So we can only go off of the sharpshooter first secondary um, playmaker, right? Because that's the closest we could get. I could not put my ball control up to 82 with this pie at all so i had to go ahead and put it up with the um sharpshooter and the playmaker and even then the ball handle couldn't even go up that high the ball handle was still low <laughs> so check this out when once i went to six nine it was a wrap it was nothing that i could do to put that ball handle back up soon as i put those two inches up my player got destroyed all right so let's check this out real quick driving dunk is a 56 on this build right once i went up to six nine from six seven, my driving dunk went down two points, and I maxed it out. It went down two points. Let's take a look at driving layup. Driving layup was a seventy-two and a seventy-eight. If you were playmaking first on two K twenty, it's a sixty-seven. That <laughs> yo, that caps on y'all apps is crazy. <laughs> yo, the caps is crazy on the attributes, man. So all right, check it out open three if you were a sharp first you had a 92 if you were a playmaking first you had an 84 on 2k 20 at 69 it's capped at 78 the open mid range is an 81 on 2k 20 it was an 88 if you were a sharp first and an 85 if you were a playmaking first that is insane speed with ball Look at this, speed with ball was a 69 max. Of course you got better speed here and you got better acceleration here. And that's because of the physicals I picked. But look at your strength and look at your vertical. Your vertical kind of stayed just about the same, but your strength went almost down 20 points. And you're 6'9", how are you not strong? This is regular weight, regular wingspan. All right, let's go to standing dunk. You have a standing dunk of 65. Okay, last year it was a 57 if you were sharp first, and it was a 67 if you were playmaking first. So that's kind of averaged out. Let's look at shot close. Shot close, it went up to 85 when I put my head up two inches. Now it was 84 if you were playmaking first, and a 79 last year if you were a sharp first. What's really huge here? Look at the post hook, guys. In 2K20, you have a 30 in post hook and that was me being generous because i tried to like gauge what other stuff this player needed and in 2k19 you had a 66 and a 70. post fadeaway is high as hell look at the post fadeaway guys it's at 87 in 2k19 it was at 66 and a 70 if you were a shooter it's at 87 on 2k at a 69 player free throw I had to gauge it. I didn't have many points to work with. You guys see here, interior defense, perimeter defense, lateral quickness. I'm guessing if you're 6'9 and you're a little bit slower, but I mean, your lateral quickness and perimeter defense got to be a little bit better than that. You still, let me see what still was. Still was a 73 and a 71. This year, 64. Let's see what the block is at. 65 and 65. This year, it's at a 67. Um, defensive rebound. It's only at a 63 this year. Last year was a 67 and a 69. Um, offensive rebound, 67 and 69 as well. But this year you're at a 63. So I'm just saying, gauging these players just ain't it, bro. It's just not it. I want to apologize to all the small forwards again out there. Um, if you're watching this video, I hope that I did a pretty good breakdown for you. I hope that you understand it. I hope to see in the comment section that we need to address the attribute caps and not have custom pies because custom pies truly won't help anybody. As long as 2K have these attribute caps in order and in place, 
there's nothing you can do with a custom pie. You can go to your ba bakery and get a custom pie all you want. But in 2K, let's just stay away from them because they really won't help us. But this is your boy IKC signing out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe. We're almost at, uh, what? Let's see. We're almost at 620K uh, subscribers. I appreciate everybody for hitting that subscribe button, man. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. This is your boy IKC signing out. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.